try to gather your thoughts here in the present moment and focus on the breath. Watch the breath that's coming in, watch it as it's going out. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out. If your attention wanders off, just bring it right back. Try to take some responsibility for your mind. We live in a world where there are a lot of things that we're not responsible for and we get all upset about them. We try to control them. But the things that we can control and that we are responsible for, we tend to neglect. So right now, take some time to focus on what you really are responsible for is where you're paying attention. All kinds of sounds are coming into your ears right now. There's the sound of the crows, there's the sound of the Dharma talk. And you go out in the world and there's even more sounds coming into your ears. But you have the choice of which ones you want to focus on and how you want to focus on them. All too often we focus on the things that people say to us or about us that we don't like. And then we get all upset. We have to remember, okay, their mouths are their mouths. They're not responsible for their mouths, but you are responsible for your ears. Now, the, the sound of their words can come into your ears, but then what are you going to do with it? The Buddha recommends if there's something really nasty that other people say, just remind yourself, okay, there's just an unpleasant sound at the ear, and just leave it at the ear. Don't bring it into the mind. When the mind is in good shape, okay, then you can bring it in and can just consider it. If something they said was unpleasant but it was true, okay, you've, you've learned something important. Because all too often people are afraid to say unpleasant things. Here's a chance where you can look at yourself and say, oh, this is true about me. I've got to make some changes. That's something you've gained. But make sure you do it, do it at a point where you're not going to get upset at the other person. If you're still upset, okay, just leave the sound out in the, out in the entryway. Don't let it come all the way in. And as for your mouth, you, that's what something you really are responsible for. You have to be very careful about what you're saying and why you're saying it. When the Buddha talks about right speech, speech that doesn't misrepresent the truth, speech that doesn't cause division between other people, speech that's not meant to harm other, meant to hurt other people's feelings, or idle chatter where you're just sounding off because you want to have something come out your mouth. Okay, all of this comes down to your intention. Why are you speaking? What are you trying to do with your speech? We've got this capability as human beings to say wonderful truths, to be good with one another, to cause harmony through our speech, create peace and well-being through our speech. Do we use it for that purpose? Well, sometimes yes and sometimes no. Well, why not? When you're not doing it that, for that purpose, what is your purpose? This is something you have to learn how to control. We talk about controlling the mind. We have to control the mouth as well. The two of them go together. If you go around just letting your mind think about whatever it wants to think about, pretty soon your mouth is just going to say, start saying things, whatever you want to say. You've got to learn that there has to be some restraint in both areas. If you want to find true happiness, if you don't want to destroy your own happiness and the happiness of people around you. So be very careful about what you are responsible for. As, things, as for things you're not responsible for, remind yourself that other people have their mouths, that they can do whatever they want to with their mouths. You can't control them. The more you get upset about what they say, the more likely it is you're going to do something stupid with where you're responsible. So try to focus on your responsibilities and leave the rest of the world to the rest of the world. You don't have to straighten out the world. All you have to do is straighten out yourself, straighten out your mind, straighten out your actions. And that's a huge accomplishment right there.